Welcome to Colorado Homes and Lifestyles, where style comes home. This recording is brought to you by Aftersight, and it is intended to be used solely by individuals who are blind or have low vision. Thank you for joining us for the May-June 2022 Indoor-Outdoor Living Issue of Colorado Homes and Lifestyles. My name is Jerry Jingra. From the editor, let the sun shine in. With an average of 300 sunny days annually in Colorado, the way light illuminates our homes is key to the design process. It is so important that architect Lila Schweart actually camped on land in Fraser with the homeowners for days, tracking the sun's angles and movement across the land before designing their mountain home. The result is a charming, light-filled alpine modern home that harmonizes with the land. Page 86. To maximize our time in Colorado sunshine and fresh air, we expand our indoor living spaces, throwing open nano walls and French doors and blurring the lines between inside and out. In this issue, we see a gorgeous home in Denver's beloved Washington Park neighborhood that was created with indoor-outdoor living in mind, including an outdoor living room on the rooftop to take in the views, page 78, and also featured on the cover. In one El Dorado Springs house, maximizing the light is achieved with a two-story terrarium gallery space and by retaining the expanse of original direct-set windows during the remodeling process for their edge-to-edge views. Page 57. In the words of the homeowner of a new-build home in Belcaro that uses the outdoor space year-round with three-foot-wide bifold doors opening to the covered patio, pool, heating lamps, and fire pit, the indoor-outdoor feel was really important to us, so we like being able to open up that back wall so we can entertain year-round. So as spring days lead into the summer, throw open the windows and doors and let the sun shine. Darla Warden, Editor-in-Chief. Fresh Style, Perfect Fit. Story by Alicita Rodriguez. When Graham Glasgow signed with the Denver Broncos in 2020, he and his wife Allison were overjoyed. Denver was my number one choice, she says. We absolutely love it here. First on their wish list was to buy a home that really fit their family. No small feat for a professional football player, a former volleyball player, and a 100-pound double doodle. Interior designers Jane and Stephanie Henderson knew that size would be very important. They're both very tall people, Stephanie says. Graham is six foot six, and Allie comes in not too much below that. We wanted to design a home that felt homey, but also spacious and scaled to their size. Step one was for the Glasgow's to buy a house, of course, but the process was complicated by the pandemic, and they were forced to search for their first home remotely. It was a weird time, Allison says. We got lucky because this house was under contract, but due to COVID, it went back on the market. We snagged it. Then the Glasgow's worked with the Hendersons to choose furnishings that reflected their vibe. I wanted the house to feel modern but livable, Allison says. Their overall style falls in the mountain modern aesthetic, Stephanie Henderson says, and they wanted warm woods and greenery to juxtapose with the clean lines and the black and white. The interiors were planned virtually. Neither the homeowners nor the designers saw the house in person until everything had been shipped to Denver. Given the constraints of designing from afar, along with their clients' need for comfort, the Hendersons focused on space planning. We had to make sure, inch to inch, that things were going to be suitable. The homeowners brought only one thing from Michigan, their bed. With athletes, sleep is important, Jane Henderson says. Their bodies are their capital. 
Graham had a custom bed, so we had to have a frame built to accommodate it. The couple wanted the bedroom to feel like a sanctuary. We wanted a very clean and relaxing space to get away to, Allison says. Despite the tricky start, the home turned out perfectly for every member of the Glasgow family. Allison, who loves to cook, got her dream kitchen. It has a really nice island with lots of seating and the amount of space is amazing. Graham got his favorite chair. I have to give my husband credit on this one. When he saw the leather chair, he said, yes, clearly this is the one we want. And Gordy, their half golden doodle, half labradoodle, got a yard. Our dog loves Colorado because he gets to spend the majority of the day outside, Allison says. He's happy inside as well. Every bed, every couch, every surface, he considers his. The Glasgow's recently welcomed a baby girl, and she is giving them more reasons to love their home. It's a great family neighborhood. In the summers, we have alley parties. It's such an added bonus. Our neighbors are all super friendly. Fresh style. Profile. Kitchens from the ground up. Story by Mindy Pantiel. Angela Otten, Inspire Kitchen Design Studio, shares tips for the heart of the home. In 2017, Angela and Steve Otten founded Inspire Kitchen Design Studio. What started in their Denver home with Angela and a solo design tech handling all aspects of planning and design and Steve commandeering installations quickly grew. Today, four designers, three technical design assistants, and an expanded installation team are part of their full-service showroom at the IDC building in Denver. We asked Angela to share how she became involved in kitchen design. What is your design background and training? After graduating from Bethel University in Minnesota with a fine arts degree, I had an internship doing graphic design for a printing company. Working in the fine arts taught me about positive, negative space, proportions, values, and color, all useful skills in kitchen design and interior architecture. The best training for me, however, was hands-on. After working as a specification representative for an architectural product company, which introduced me to residential and corporate interior design, I eventually went to work for a home design store. When I was assigned a full contracting kitchen job, I quickly learned the nuts and bolts about how a house is built and about things like load-bearing walls and plumbing and electrical systems. Why kitchen design? I was drawn to kitchen design because it is about so much more than just kitchen design. Since the kitchen is the heart of the home, it has to be special in both form and function, and the designers that inspire do more than just put cabinets on a wall. We work with builders, architects, and interior designers to make sure we can get everything we need for the kitchen. Sometimes this means moving walls. Sometimes it means moving the kitchen to a completely different part of the home. What's your process for working with clients? We start with a rigorous interview process. We want to know how they entertain, how they cook or don't cook, and what their daily lives are like so we can tailor a space to just them. We dig deep into their visual style by working through inspiration pictures, and we also look at the architecture to make sure our designs fit with the house. My greatest reward is touring a finished project and seeing how it actually works for the client. What's something every kitchen should have? Interior organizers specified to the zones where they will be used can make a huge difference in the day-to-day functioning of a kitchen. For example, a knife drawer and trash belong in the food prep area. Silverware drawers should be close to the dishwasher, and pots and pans need to be in the cooking zone. It sounds obvious, but our designers know how a kitchen functions and where things need to be for optimal flow. Fresh Style, Style Maker, Alex Kendall, the spirited and adventurous owner of Breckenridge Gallery, shares her 10 favorite things. 
One, Colorado artist. Because I own a gallery, it's difficult to pick just one. We have many incredible artists that are local to Colorado. But to name a few, Chris Vineman, an abstract painter local to Breckenridge, now living in Paris. Kate Kiesler, a gorgeous Colorado landscape painter. And Morrison-based Terry Gardner, who brings a modern approach to the West. BreckenridgeGallery.com Two, Shoes. The Blundstone Original Chelsea Boot is comfortable, durable, and will never go out of style. Plus, it's waterproof. Women's Original Chelsea Boot, number 510, black, $199.95, Ptarmigan Sports, Edwards, ptarmigansports.com. Skis. Three. I ski on Rocky Mountain Underground's RMU Valhalla 107, a versatile mountain ski for all types of terrain. The width is great in both powder and springtime crud. This is a classic Colorado company that takes care of the locals across our mountain towns. RMU Valhalla 107, $799, rmuoutdoors.com. Four, restaurant. Owner chef Matt Vouter of Rootstock is a Summit County local who returned to Breck after working as executive chef at Mercantile in Denver. He opened his restaurant during the pandemic and stayed open because it's an elevated dining experience. My favorite menu item is the butternut squash soup. Rootstock, 207 North Main Street, Breckenridge. Rootstockbreck.com. Five, retail store. My go-to store in Breckenridge is Mountain Goat. They carry a lot of companies based in the West, such as Topo Designs, Cotopaxi, and Howler. Owners Jen and Pete cater to local Breck folks with awesome mountain clothing and accessories. Mountain Goat Clothing Company, 117 South Main Street, Breckenridge. Six, Clothing designer Nilly Lotan is stylish, comfortable, and fits my lifestyle from casual to any dressy occasion. Because Breckenridge is a mountain town, Nilly is truly the perfect chill brand for me. Nilly Lotan Sean Pant, $375, Lawrence Cavell, Denver, lawrencecavell.com. 7. Baseball Cap Native Coloradan and Breckenridge local artist Abby Pafrath has created a collection of quality baseball caps featuring her artwork. It's such a wonderful reflection of our state that you can wear on your head. A perfect go-to on those sunny blue sky days. Surf Break Hat, $29.95, art for Allie by Abby.com. 8. Workout clothing. I could wear my Vuari boyfriend joggers every single day. They are so soft and comfortable and perfect for running, yoga, and the gym. Boyfriend jogger in black camo, $84, Vuari, Cherry Creek Mall, Denver, VuariClothing.com. 9. Mountain Bike. Spot is a family-owned mountain bike company in Golden that started as a single-speed mountain bike brand, but is now building geared bikes with full carbon frames that balance well and are great to ride. Rocker Single Speed Mountain Bike, $3,999 to $6,999. Spotbikes.com. 10. Cowboy Hat. My favorite custom hat maker is Colorado Mountain Hat Company in Fair Play. Owner Bob Smitty is funky and fun and rough around the edges. He lets you pick your own style and fur and fits it to your head. I wear the Cattleman in Sage.cmhats.com. Fresh Style Design. Designing a home that allows the spectacular setting to take center stage. Enviable position. Story by Elizabeth Mulvahill. With hectic lives, three growing kids, and a couple of huge dogs, a Colorado couple was looking for more space inside and out. They wanted a little more property and a little more breathing room to give everyone in the family their own distinct zone, plus common areas to foster a sense of connection. The family found what they were looking for when they came upon a rare find, a sprawling 6,000-square-foot split-level home with a walkout basement in El Dorado Springs, a 
community nestled in the cradle of El Dorado Canyon, just south of Boulder. Surrounded by pristine swaths of open space and panoramic views of the Flatirons, with South Boulder Creek meandering along the one-acre lot, the home was dark and dated, but as they say, the bones were good. Deed in hand, the family turned to the full-service team at Factor Design Build and project manager Josh Feaster with an extended wish list that would transform the 1960s home into the sanctuary they were envisioning. On the to-do list, gut the kitchen, transform the primary bed and bath, split the upper level into two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bath in between, add a bedroom in the basement, and update the flooring and walls throughout. Our clients had pretty relaxed aesthetics, says Feaster. They wanted something light and bright, something easy to care for and easy to live in, with timeless finishes designed to accommodate their active lifestyle. But more than anything, they wanted the home to accentuate the spectacular setting in which it was built. The team attacked all areas of the house to bring it up to modern standards, tearing down interior walls in the kitchen and main bedroom suite in order to make those spaces more functional for the family, reconfiguring the top floor to suit the needs of two of their children, adding a bedroom in the basement for another, and freshening up every square inch of the home. The result is a home that makes sense for the way the family lives. One exceptional feature of the home that did not change, the expansive windows that bathe the home in sunlight and blur the lines between inside and out. The home has very unique windows, Feaster explains, with openings that are direct set glass instead of framed windows. They're actually very hard to replace, so we did our best to preserve them everywhere we could. The windows were cleaned up, resealed, and treated to a fresh coat of paint to cover the original dark stain, and the effect is enchanting. The home now provides the connection the homeowners were seeking from the very beginning. 5 Under 40 Colorado Homes and Lifestyles is honored to present this year's 5 Under 40 winners. These professionals have taken design to a new level with their fresh and innovative concepts. Story by Richa Mitchell. Nikki Holt Residential Studio Design Director at Kimberly Timmons Interiors in Denver. Stepping into a client's home and reimagining the space is a rush for residential studio designer director Nikki Holt. While all design work has the potential to be personal, none meets that need quite like residential design, Holt says. The intimate aspect of residential design is truly what draws me to it most. Holt's career path to design started early. During her school years, she preferred design shows to cartoons. All recreational activities, whether indoor or outdoor, required an impressive color palette and attention to design. I would choose my preferred parks and restaurants by their color scheme, declaring I wanted to go to the park with the blue slide or the cafe with the green booths, Holt tells us. My observation of color was often met by looks of dismay by the adults in my life, leading me to realize most people didn't look at the world the same way I did. An elevated taste in color and design led Holt to study design at Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design. She graduated cum laude in 20. 2013 with a BFA in interior architecture and design. It was there where I finally felt I had found my people, people who also noticed the color of the restaurant booths. Holt worked as an interior designer at Montana Firm before finding her design home at KTI. I have immense gratitude for the beauty I get to create there, alongside a phenomenal group of individuals, she says. I am so lucky to lead a team of talented, hardworking, fun designers and to be supported and mentored by the most ambitious and passionate principal and creative director, Kimberly Timmons. Adam Gilmer Principal at Berglund Architects in Edwards. 
integrating high-tech modules into his architectural design is an essential tune for architect Adam Gilmer, principal at Berglund Architects in Edwards, Colorado. I love the collaboration between our entire team that begins in the design process with simple sketches, then modeling the spaces in 3D in the computer, then finally experiencing the finished space. The process is very rewarding. Gilmer has been bringing projects to life at Berglund Architects since 2005. Upon graduation from CU Boulder with a degree in environmental design, Gilmer joined the firm as its second employee. The Colorado native has since been a leader in computer modeling. I have extensive experience in three-dimensional computer modeling, which has been a critical design tool in several of the complex residences and mixed-use projects upon which we have worked, he tells us. A passion for sustainable building practices is also evident in Gilmer's work. The Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, or LEED, program ensures an environmentally sound green home by documenting the assembly's energy use and waste during and after construction, Gilmer explains. If a home does not go down the LEED path, the home should be designed and built with energy-efficient assemblies that surpass code requirements. In addition to working in harmony with the environment at work, Gilmer enjoys spending time outdoors during his free time. Growing up in Colorado, it is easy to say that I am inspired by the mountains. Julie Riggan, owner of Julie K. Design Studio in Colorado Springs. A career in interior design was fated for Julie Riggan. My mother inspired my path as an interior designer. She is so very creative, and I grew up surrounded by an abundance of seasonal decorations and homemade crafts, says Riggan. She did an amazing job at creating a happy home for us. Riggan's love for all things creative started at an early age and led her to pursue a career in design after graduating from the University of Missouri, Columbia with a B.S. in architectural studies. After working in design at prestigious firms in Chicago, she founded her own firm. In 2020, Riggan moved with her family to Colorado Springs, and she recently opened a studio designed for personalized client interaction. I see it as my job to really get to know my clients genuinely so I can create a unique and highly personal space, she tells us. My bespoke interior design and space planning services are specifically designed to work with families like yours so you can find the most joy and possibilities within your current reality. Creating a comfortable home for military families is also one of Regan's passions. I am married to an army guy, so I understand the challenges of living a military lifestyle, says Regan. Whether it's your forever home or temporary housing, you deserve to live in a space you feel proud to call home. Ashley Stevens, principal at Evoke Landscape in Boulder. Working with the land comes naturally to Ashley Stevens, co-founder of Evoke Landscape. Growing up in Verdant, Minnesota, Stevens would spend much of her time outdoors with her mom in the garden, surrounded by lush greenery. I grew up around gorgeous gardens, which definitely planted the steed, Stevens says. I am a true believer that spending time outside and connecting with nature makes all of us better humans. As enthusiasm for spending time outdoors in Intermixed with Stephen's strong interest in art, she graduated from CU Boulder with a degree in art history in 2009, but she later discerned landscape design to be her life's calling. After working as a landscape designer at MARPA, a top local landscape design firm, Stevens felt it was time to venture into her own landscaping business. She teamed up with her husband, whom she met at MARPA, and founded Evoke, a landscape design firm specializing in outdoor living in the Denver and Boulder area. When my husband and I first started dating, we would spend afternoons driving around Denver looking for inspiration and talking design, Stevens says. As they say, the rest is history. Two children later, Stevens hopes the love of creating modern, lush outdoor spaces runs in the family. Our two young boys are into trucks and construction, Stevens says. It's become a family affair. 
Lauren Winter, interior designer at Inside Stories in Denver. A trip to the bookstore at an early age ignited Lauren Winter's passion for interior design. When I was young, a family friend took me to a bookstore and told me I could pick any book I wanted. I selected a book with a collection of residential home layouts, Winter tells us. I pored over that book for weeks, looking at the different spaces and ways to configure rooms. Since then, Winter has been honing her skills in design, offering her her clients whimsical, innovative ideas influenced by her extensive study of design at Kansas State University. After graduation, she headed north and worked for prominent design firms in Chicago, but Colorado is where Winter ultimately wanted to call home. I spent the first seven years of my design career in Chicago and was looking to make a move to a city that still had a thriving design culture mixed with a little bit of more of a laid-back feel. Denver felt like a more family-oriented city, and the proximity to the mountains allows you to feel completely refreshed with just a short drive. Diversity is key for Winter, who appreciates the individuality of each project she works on. Recently, I've worked on an automobile repair shop lobby, a modern mountain home, a full home space plan rework, and a few projects that just needed a refresh in some rooms. The variety of the projects and services makes the job interesting, and I'm always learning something new. Thank you for joining us for the Colorado Homes and Lifestyles, May-June 2022 edition. My name is Jerry Jengra. You've been listening to Colorado Homes and Lifestyles, where style comes home. If you enjoyed this program, please register for our free services at www.aftersight.org or by calling 303-786-7777.